Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. How's everybody? Thank you. So, uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank upon the organizing committee of the RSM, QSVM, uh, uh, for inviting me uh, to give a talk on value match and the way forward. I'm indeed uh, 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 privileged to be part of a team today and obviously discussing about subject matter which is very pertinent, very significant and obviously uh, the in thing in, in many disciplines. Right. So, um, any question please? <laughs> oh, that's a question. Eh? So, I reckon, uh, who, who's are the students here, please? The Tell the students. Ah, okay then. What, what's your name, please? Chin, or oh, Miss Chin. What, what do you understand by value management? Because you don't, you don't ask me, I ask you then. <laughs> Miss Chin, what, what's your, what, what do you understand by value management? Ah, that's good. Cost of this. Who, who is the other student? Another one. Pair at the back there. The one with the uh, yeah, brownish uh, Tudo? Yeah, you are. Yes. What do you think about value management? Anything? No problem. Yes. You heard about that? One is cost optimization, or cut costs, and looking for alternative for the materials for the particular building components. Right. So, um, and then uh, I'm also uh, uh, um, a bit sentimental because being a fellow of the uh, RISM myself, more than 10 years now, so uh, it is basically um, we are together as part of a team. Next. I'm currently advising and civil management, also practicing under the MCN value. I wish you have a pointer. You have no pointer? This is pointer. Okay. Okay. Um, historical background. So, um, because we are talking about the way forward, it wouldn't be um, complete if we would be to the bad track of historical background. Because history is something that we have to look at, cherish, and learn something for the future. So, value management. Uh, started way back in the 40s during World War II uh, the, in the GE General Electric Company of USA. As you all know, G GE is one of the uh, conglomerate of the world, even now. So then, this company was the uh, one of the main supplier of components, systems, um, parts, current steel to defense ministry of USA. Of course, during the war, there were a lot of scarcity of chromes, spare parts, to be supplied to defense ministry of USA resulted in the cost escalated and so on. So this young engineer, young purchasing engineer, by the name of Lawrence D. Miles, mooted the idea, if they cannot supply the parts, can we supply the functions? Sorry. Then he coined the terminology value analysis, looking to the current existing components, system, parts, whatever, and looking for alternative ways, right? to achieve the functions of the particular parts and components. And because of the tank was so very successful in the GE, right, um, um, company-wide, it was then being um, further, what they call this, uh, expanded in, in Navy of USA, uh, especially for an engineering team of, of the uh, Defense Bureau of Ships. And they coined the word value engineering. Right. So, very engineering terminology basically started in uh, departments of, of uh, 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 Defense Bureau of Ships. And in the 80s, the, the methodology is being um, further applied elsewhere in the world, especially in the UK in the 80s. Right? Large application of the kingdom. Then it, and the application, rather than solely confined to engineers, and now expanding to not just engineers, beyond that, managers. Right? Economist, um, uh, the finance, even in Australia, sociologists are practicing value management, right? So you're not just confining to conscious layers, architects. So it's large applications elsewhere in the world, right? I used to be asked by a reporter um, quite some time ago. He, he, she asked me, why the, 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 the scope of application of value management? I told her 
the very measurement applies to all things that you can see in the world. That has functions. So you can observe around you, can you observe around you, anything has no function. The carpets, the tables, the LCDs, the computers, the stools, fire extinguishers, anything has function can be well managed. That's how broad the application will be. That's why it can plus all systems, product, facilities, projects. And to me, anything that has functions can be well managed. So, uh, next please. We have in Malaysia, there comes a time in history when the event we told like is this. Here it is. Again, looking back to history. Right. Next please. In 86, this is a, a fact given uh, a call from a PhD uh, graduate, right? Doing research on the uh, application of value management in Malaysia. So I got this from, from, from the PhD. Uh, it's very uh, validated and of course uh, uh, can be recognized. Uh, the Associate Professor Raratum from Canberra University came to our UTM of Job. I was a junior academic then, so about 20 of us attended his three-day course in Johor at the time. So I've already been introduced some valid basis way back in, in earlier than that, when I was in Petronas, but wouldn't have a clue about what, what this was then at that, that time. So, and then Roy Barton, uh, in 1990, uh, together with me, went through the nation, especially Defence Ministry in Petronas, to uh, introduce uh, value management. They were a big, big, uh, uh, what is a uh, good pickup, but you know, then it was not having a really uh, major impact. And then um, I was again fortunate the same year I went to Australia to undertake a uh, value management methodology under the social commerce and concept mentioned by the, 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 our moderator just now. Next. Um, and in 1999, there was a first ever seminar in the big scale uh, organized by Ikram and JKR. See? Officiated by the, then the uh, uh, Funds Minister of Malaysia, Tundaim. I was again privileged to conduct that two day seminar solo, right? So um, then, um, uh, and sharing um, some little knowledge of it at the time. And again, um, I went to Penang, Johor, KL, elsewhere in the country to promote and propagate value management in the, in the, in the uh, 90s and so on. So 2000, 2000, I left university April 99, and we formed what it is value management with the uh, 20 or so founding members. Next. And, and the big break was in the December 29. Where the uh, EPU um, already issued a circular, right, mentioning or meriting that any projects and programs above 50 million are subjected to, to scrutiny by value management, right? So, so much so that even uh, they have uh, even um, changed the standard cost section of EPU to VM section, right? So, um, in the end of March, I was uh, invited by EPU to brief National Economic Council, chaired by the Prime Minister. On that day, the Indy Council endorsed value management to becoming the uh, supporting pillar of the nation. The, fourth, the, the third supporting pillar, which is the creativity, innovation, and time value of money. There's a value of money, use value management as a methodology in creating value for money. The rest is all history. Um, why is it so? The impact is so very huge because why? Um, we are maybe about 10, 15, 20 years behind states, right, the U.S. or so, in the context of many things. So in the U.S., um, they have already made it mandatory for projects, even in Japan, for projects above $2 million. This is how interesting we can VM is, right? In, in, in Korea, for, for $10 million, right? In Australia, for AUD, $5 million. Saudi government, $5 million. Also, UK, if uh, Google the uh, Department of Commerce, uh, UK, then you go through six, call it six gateways, six steps. Gateway zero, one, two, three, four, five. What JK is called Gerbang. Gerbang. So from gateway zero to gateway five, all is subjected to value management, value planning, value, value engineering, the whole embodied in the value management. So um, in, in Malaysia, we are very fortunate. The first GLC, Ponaza is here, the head of VM section of, uh, of Malaysia Airports. Uh, um, make it mandatory for any projects and programs for the budget, both capital and OPEX, operation expenditure, both CapEx and OPEX, uh, above 10,000 are subject to true value, true value management. Initially, about half a, mi half a million, 500,000 in 2008, but it reduced to 300,000 uh, late to 2009 because of the impact that we made 
on the application of value management. I remember when I was given quite a number of better projects in the old days, in the 2008 or so, by the Ministry of Audits Brahan. So um, they have already gone through the various stringent budget challenges by the quantities layers, by finance and accountants and so on. And they were, we, were given, um, we were given a task to prove ourselves, to our case that value management is having impact. So in the end, we still managed to save, but not cost-cutting. I, I, I illustrate this up. Cost cutting and again the, the, the cost of optimization of the improvement. Energy of 35%. Even though they have gone through the process of stringent uh, budget challenge by, by the group, but we still offer the client 35%. What does it mean? Does it mean impact to the ROI of the company? So, uh, and then that's why they, they reduced to uh, 300,000 in late 2009. The TMB managed it uh, in 2009 late. All projects are program of 10 million are subject to development management. I remember um, we apply value management not just for projects but also to systems, even uh, even the branch product like the cover slabs, transmission lines, and so much so that even um, the criteria we are being engaged by the TMB to even look relook at the criteria, evaluation criteria for huge power plant project. Two, I don't mention the project, uh, huge. To uh, make a uh, power plant, two power plant projects uh, costing billions of ringgit. The criteria has been developed by the international super international consultant, but because of the mental requirement, they give to us the criteria. We went through the criteria. Um, we come up with counter proposal, right, on the criteria. Um, the management of the board eventually approved uh, uh, and endorsed our criteria, our re-evaluation criteria, using very much methodology. Right? Because in most cases, we quantity surveyors use the standard criteria, right? Weightage, you know, the kind of weightage. Technical and financial, right? Go and not go, kind of, kind of first level and second level. Two tier kind of criteria. So we look at that, there were some mismatches against the loadings or a project against the weightage assigned to a particular criteria. It's very, very crucial. So um, for instance, I just want to suggest to have, for instance, for that particular case, the um, LCC components. Each vendor has different SOP and parts for the next 40 years. So eventually we look into details and, 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 and come up with a, a come, kind, some kind of major overhaul to the criteria and they adopted our, our proposal. And obviously for all federal projects, about 50 million. What is the definition then? Okay, of course I'm promoting my definition. <laughs> so you can look into the, the net, the, the, the literature is a lot of by mills and uh, Adel, Solar, Roy, all sort of criteria, but I sum up with my own definitions, right? I define value management as a rigorous. I know that this definition is being um, uh, written in many, many parts, but not put, put in my name on. Hey, no problem. It's part of the academic exercise anyway. So, uh, so, um, but it's a rigorous on record. That's 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 my uh, understanding of value management. It's a rigorous. Why is it rigorous? Because Conventionally, we are very slow in doing things. Very slow. So, 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 much, so much so that it takes ages to finalize the design. I'm also a practicing quantum layer, and in many cases, we are becoming, in Susi so say, a bit uh, nasty, a bit not nice to hear, but we have to say it. Bedroom boys. You see? In many cases, very gross. End result. Why the project is, the, the tender is delayed? Quantity surveyors. Yeah. Why the cost is collected? Quantity surveyors. Why the host? Quantity surveyors. Why the no limitation of the, the contract condition? It's quantity surveyors. All goes to quantity surveyors. See? This must stop. This must stop. I've discussed this during the, the forward, where then we lecture. Right. So, so much so that I, I mooted this idea to, to many organizations, to state governments, the GLCs, first to facilitate the move, the, the design development time and also construction, we have to sit down together, right? We have to conduct workshops, studies, right? In a in, in structured manner, using a internationally acclaimed or, or approved or uh, recognized methodology, which is value management. Even development, you have techniques and tools with the value management. So, I just got an example. In the, in the old days, I was an incident academic. Uh, one day I got, got a call from, from the SIG ESCO, Automation State again. Um, he asked us, 
how can you assist us to facilitate the Zen development and also the speed up of the, uh, the uh, skill training center within the state? Right. I don't need, no problem, we can assist you, provided with two conditions. It's always condition, I put always condition, because with, with that condition, we, we, we follow their, 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 their style. So, with two conditions. One, I will call my experts within the university. I, I, I get the experts of different disciplines, of different range of expertise within my university. One. And then two is, second, second criteria was, you have to station a group together upon the heads of departments. Mr. Yip, Mr. Yip. I left for some other agent mentors. This is a very good uh, informative uh, slides this morning. As you can see, there were 13 departments mentioned, showed by him just now. 13 departments to go through. 11 or so, um, the, the technicalities that they were to do. So you can imagine that if you could submit a plan to a new plan, you need project economic degree. So you, they have to take to go to 13 departments. How long it takes to go back to the UPAN? Three months? Four months? Could be six months, six months. By the time they come back to you, oh, you have to re realign the roads. Say, this is a, a component that's not in consistent with our state economic plan. All sorts of things. And give it back to the, our planner and our architects to review the entire thing. Give all these guys, oh, sorry. Boss is not feasible. The budget was 100 million, now goes to 130 million. We have only 100 million to cover. And they got to review the planning and go back to the state. It takes ages, that's why. Even now, some RM10 is not being enrolled yet. Not being rolled over yet, you know? Why? Because of the process. So, in my case, I have these two conditions. One, my team of experts within the university. Two, you have to call upon all the heads of departments within the states. Because you have the authority to do so. Head of Pesiatan. Japan GPA at that time. GIT, all sorts of things. All the things departments. Or whatever that. Within, this, within two days, also, I think lost, we have settled almost everything. See? They committed with master plan less than a month. See? The project being put into details the following month, turned it out. Two months. See? I remember in, in, in for the Bio Safety Lab project, this I just mentioned about rigorous. This is Mukadima, no? the introduction. I got more slides. But anyway, it's good for I will be enjoying this this this, 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 uh, this seminar today today. For one the same I'm telling this to share my experience, you know, and of course you can respond share your experience as well, no problem. We are all uh, it's about intellectual discussion. Uh biosafety labs, Singapore. Group. So why we need that biosafety lab? Because one, the Nipah viruses, Coxakee, uh the type the, we wouldn't determine the type of viruses. We have to send it to Australia. Or states. How do you take to get the feedback? Weeks. By the time the, the, the virus has been become could be a catastrophe. That's why Koksaki became strong last time. See? So we can't afford that. We have to have our own lab. So the government decided to have our biosafety lab three enhanced. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have three plus enhanced to four. So we get I get to four, not five. Five is still in the so it's very costly. So we decided to um, go for bicycle electric and hands, but it takes time, you see, to do all this process. I recommend to check out at that time. So we have to call upon all the various authorities within Gomba, right, to look into the projects and things settle very fast. We, I remember we called upon so many agencies and things being, being booked up in very detail, uh, very, all in the details and also approved almost within the formalities of the after that. So the though is very rigorous. I got this terminology of rigorous, of course, this is standard English terminology. What? Yes, welcome, Dato. I, I never thought you were coming earlier. Please, Dato Nasir from Malaysia Airports is uh, very sentimental and also the key person in Malaysia Airports and, and, and the GLC. Um, uh, in fact, I'm very pleased indeed, Dato, to come here. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very pleased, honored to be at Dato uh, uh, in the. In, in, in the old days, through Puan no Azhar. So again, uh, somebody that I cherish for a long, long time, inshallah. Okay, uh, back to this one. So, for, for that particular project, uh, I, it is again, come up with the same idea, concept. And the developer, um, 
uh, sorry, the architect for the project was initially hesitated to attend the, 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 the session, but because of the requirement by the developer, he, he came, came on board. And in the end of the day, I asked the, developer, the, the architects, I took my risk, what do you think of value management? And he stood up. By the conversation, I had never thought. I never thought the development is so rigorous, that's why I pick up the word so rigorous, so rigorous and so far reaching, so much so that within a short period of time, we managed to identify the zoning, right? The zoning, the component zonings, and also the number of components within zoning. Right? In, long, in, in the normal process, it takes months to find those components within the zoning. That's so how the rigorous came, came about. So, systematic, it is, it's this a step by step process. It's systematic, it's step by step, systematic about step, step process. It's very systematic and it's step by step process. You have to go through the process of pre study, study, and post study. And the innovative, I do is the word creativity here because innovation is the creativity that's value. You can be creative but no value. That's not innovation. So, you have to be, you have to have, the, your creativity must have value, then it can be given to innovations. Methodology, multi display display approach to achieve better value and cost optimization. Again, cost optimization and better value, not cost cutting. Um, for projects, products, facility systems, and services without sacrificing the required performance level. More importantly, we have to define performance level, right? And all those being geared towards achieving the performance level. And in many cases, beyond the diet diet performance level we established earlier on. Next, please. And Kelly and Mill, 91 Kelly and Mill, being systems oriented, is about systems. It's not just about bricks and mortar. It's not about, it's just about concrete walls against the, 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 the uh, brick walls. It's not just against the um, uh, metal deck against concrete tiles or clay tiles. Those being looked at the valuationary. But first and foremost, more important is systems thinking. I remember in those days, when Sydney Academy days, I was given this particular project from a developer, uh, by a developer, covering the area about 25 acres of the land. There was a ravine, a small stream across the land. What the civil engineer will do normally? They fill up with us. That's very conventional, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with that. Engineer, the civil engineer will propose to fill up the ravine with us. Then it cost about 15 years ago, that cost the developer 5 million ringgit. It's big money at that then. So in the context of value management, we look into systems thinking. Not just looking to they're just purely the raving in isolations. They were having difficulty with car parks, supply of car parks. Short for car parks will supply to, to development of condominiums. Now a block of park condominiums. What does it mean? Short for car park, uh, the, 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 the authority will impose development charges. Then I think about 30,000 in uh, a park, short for car parks. So what we did was capitalizing the raving. To do some some uh, uh, treatment works and convert it to multi-story car parks. So in the end, they were oversupplied car parks. From the requirements already once to one, once to two, once to five. Now it could be once to five, once once two. So in other words, we oversupply the car parks. What does it mean? The value or the property went up. Is it? So in other words, it's system thinking. We all have to see system thinking. Then we go into details of engineering. Multi display approach. The success value management, again, is because of multi disciplinary in nature. We group together, rather than cellular mentality, uh, using conventional process architecture and giving civil structure, mechanical, optical, all the way to conscious layers, it's sequential in nature. It's multi disciplinary approach within a structured process and structured workshops using, uh, using an established methodology. Uh, because we believe, we believe, the architectural solutions, architectural solution can be adjusted to be solved by architects. In many cases, Cornish Way solve civil problems. In many cases, Cornish Way solve architecture problems. In many cases, civil solve architecture problems. In many cases, architecture solve civil problems. We believe in the talents in one sense. Capitalizing the brain power, left hand brain and right hand brain. That's a different, 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 going to be a different session. Understanding the brain power could be different sessions. Anyway, uh, life cycle oriented. Life cycle oriented. We are Cornish Way now. Look at any bit of cost. The site cost, which is the land, the fees, the building, the building, the, the capital cost. What are the, the non-line costs in the future? Operation and maintenance, refurbishment, upgrading, operations, salvage costs, finance costs, all sort of costs associated with the running and managing of the buildings for the next 30, 40 years until it's disposed, right? 
and we get the surface value out of it. This must be worked out in detail by quantum surveyors. Right? Yeah, this is really common in, in states, in Australia, where we are not making decisions based on just pure capital costs, whereas future running costs could be more important and significant than just merely capital costs. Look at, look at hotel. You have to do major refurbishment by the end of fifth year or sixth year. Right. And assuming you are not prepared with your cash flow on six year, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. You see? The, 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 the bubbles are very going to be replaced, say maybe of 10th year. You didn't ready for that. The main hotel is in trouble on the six year because why? Working, working capital couldn't sustain the cost escalated or to be to be to be to be adopted or to be to be to be used for that six year kind of thing. And you have to keep up buying turbines, half a billion. See? Buying big machines and so on. You buy engines that can last for ten years. You have to look at in totality. In totality. I remember I was also given a piece of advice to, to quite a number of clients. I suggested to them, we have to have now two or three standards. And the consequences have to, be, to pick up this. One is pure capital cost, another one is capital plus operation maintenance cost and disposal. So in other words, we look at the costing in totality. Then we are at age. We are at age. Right? Because we are now looking into the totality of cost. So management tactics, that's why I call it value management. Initial value analysis, value engineering and management. So in other words, managers, many managers, you know, not just um, not just engineers and engineers architects run value management, but also amongst the managers. Function oriented. The function oriented sets apart value management than the rest of group problem solving methodologies. We call it re-engineering, okay, business process re-engineering, we call it risk, we call it facilities, we call it uh, uh, um, 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 quality and so on and project management. Project management combines time, the cost, and the quality. Although they go to conventional TCQ, we have function approach. And sometimes, function is being ignored. We need to be ignored. I, I just show you a story. Thank you. Ne next one, please. Concept. Another issue by Dallas Sola, he equates value equal to function plus cost. Very important, looking to the function, very perspective. So you talk about quality, it is was most of a cost, uh, by Dale Solar, Carlos Fallon and the rest uh, in the old schools, but now we have to function plus quality over the cost. So very, very driven. So quality is a subset of value. That's why they came about cost. I will address the cost, finance, and value that towards the end of the, the, the lecture. So why is, why is function then? The specific words that a design or item must perform. Again, this ballpoint pen here. Why is the function on this? Make marks. Same thing. Another type of ballpen is also make marks or apply pigments. The same thing. You can be done by uh, a few hundred ballpen pen, or can be done by, I just, I'm showing you my Mont Blanc. That's all. See? It's a given. So, so the cheapest Mont Blanc. <laughs> the third, given Mont Blanc. This is, this is three, this is sorry to it. So, I, you know, one day I was given by a pair of Mont Blancs. Roller pen and the fountain pen. The, the, the um, is it okay? It's been another one minute, extra right? For telling the story. And then I was, a, I was so very proud because I made me the Mont Blanc. See, the pair of Mont Blanc given by a friend. I had no interview with him, he had no interview with me, but suddenly he gave me one pair. I was so surprised. This could be thousands. I thought, I, I, I never, never ever in my life wearing that kind of so expensive pen. 10 ringgit or 20 ringgit. We sign millions of, of payments every month. But that's, that's the only person just using my 10 ringgit kind of ballpoint. And one day I gave this pair of pen. And then I was so much surprised. But I'm so, I'm so proud, you know, you just show off, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> and one day, I was meeting with uh, the one of the ministry. Ministry, the they, they, they one architect like, next to me, can hold, can you please uh, give my, the hold, he hold, he also read the Mont Blanc Ball Fountain Man. And he looked at my Ball Pen, something looks funny to his face. Something's not right with the Ball Pen. Eventually, I was made known that they can get the talent slip of 20 ringgit. <laughs> or 30 ringgit. So it's an embarrassment. So one day, when my trip to, to Iran, I, was, I used to, to go to Iran so many times because of my, uh, my virtue of my uh, expertise and, and practice. Uh, clients would like to buy hotels and so on. We, we would be, be take long to do the kind of the due diligence of hotels, whether to buy or not to buy uh, for, for, for hotels, and also China and Australia and so on. Many, many trips. So one day I got quite a number of uh, extra hours in the satellite building of MTB, Mr. 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 Mr.
So uh, then I went to the monogram shop. You know, it's so very expensive. You know? It is a the time open. It costs twenty thousand ringgit. I will never, never ever buy it. It will my time. Twenty thousand ringgit for the pen. There was a diamond to it. See? Diamond. To it. So I asked the lady, "What's the cheapest available pen?" Oh, we have the classic version. How much is that? One thousand fifty ringgit. I put got the palajuga. One thousand fifty ringgit. Look at the pocket. I had some extra cash. Okay, I paid that one. I paid that because why? Because of to compensate with the with that one, the, the fake ones. <laughs> they had all along. You see, I've been using for the fake one for months, you know, months. Eventually, being made funny by the one, by by my colleague. But so I have to buy one. And I never ever buy to buy it. One thousand ringgit open. So very very expensive. You see, big ones very so sometimes stringent, you know, sometimes stringent. Big ones very sometimes stringent. So it's all for the for the for the for the for the, for the good of the clients, you know. Uh, Bukan kedekut tidak, tapi berhemah, berhemah. <laughs> okay, back to this one. Then function. So, it's same thing. So, in the end, I took 1,000 ringgit. And, you see, why I don't want it? Why is the company that make functions? It's just really feel. You see? We ignore all this stopper, the, the body and so on. It's all about this one, the refill. It's the one that make myself like big ones, isn't it? It's, it's comfortably. You can reduce it comfortably. Um, how much it costs? 22 ringgit. <laughs> so in the end, I buy many of these, and sometimes I hope you use this one. Prolong the lifespan of the pen. Is it? It is. So again, it's very interesting. So to be why function is very important. I just an example. Good example. For for I'm doing so many campuses or whatever, all sorts of things, project, facility, system, software, whatever. It's very interesting to, to share this little experience that we had. One day I was given to, to develop a faculty. Pengarumang was my person friend, come over and we have this difficulty of the budget problems. We have limited budget, but we have, we have the request from the, 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 the new tower for the particular thing. I went on and looked at the, 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 the space, the whole, for the space planning, the space audit for the campus. So, in the end, uh, there were 12 professors. I was privileged to be, a, just to be a, also with the university and academic before. And then um, there were 12 visiting professors and 12, they're talking about 12 big rooms for the faculty, isn't it? So, and they have central icon. Icon has been centralized. Whether they were inhabitants or not within the, within the room, the icon runs, isn't it? So that contributes to the few. 40, 50% of the cost, the bills, comes from Recon. So I asked the, the deans and the professors how many times in a year that this visit professor come, either from UK or Australia or elsewhere in the world, or from Malaysia. So he told me about maybe once um, a week in a in year. And if you get lenses, one professor times by a certain number of meters square, you get the, the, the area. That's normal conventional uh, calculation made by the architects. They have 12 big rooms, isn't it? So I, the, back to a function operation of the, the, the rooms. Eventually, can we reschedule the trips? In the end, come out only four rooms. Why? We can reschedule the rooms, reschedule the trips of the professors. It's not cost cutting. It's not cost cutting. That's not cost cutting. But then you drop a, f f a three blocks of building. Let's come across a project whereby pure cost cutting, the few blocks of buildings, they chop one apartment. In the end, I'm struggling, looking for, for houses for the uniform staff. And we looking around in the neighboring lots for rental, because it's pure cost cutting. Budget constraint, they chop one apartment. Now it's about to complete, they're in trouble. And that's cost cutting. I was not cost cutting. We look into optimization, how to get better best value in anything. So back to the professor we are using for, and in the end we have saved up 100,000 square feet. Around about 9,000 square meters, so big money, big money involved. And they proceed. Okay, back to this one. So quality owners users need size and expectations. The quality is subject of value. Cost, life cycle cost of product or projects. This is going to be the way forward. Not just pure capital cost. We are looking into the future. At least they envisage the future cost. The such, the value is the most effective way to run the intervention function that we need, users needs and expectations. Next. Okay. As such, value can be achieved in four, the four ways. One of the four ways. Cost reduction approach, the term cost reduction is, is about not cost cutting. We have to, to, to the extent, maybe because of budget constraints, 
we have to look at the cost perspective. But again, never, never slightly compromise on function and performance and the quality needed. So it's, it's a push on one. We have many projects of the nature, cost is reduced by maintaining the function and performance. Function increase approach, uh, increase function and quality, maintain the cost. Many cases, cost maintain, but how to develop ways and means to improve further the function and quality. And compound approach, I love this uh, diagram here. Uh, it's pretty just the third one, compound approach. Less cost, increase the function and quality. I quote this, I quote many, many projects of this nature. One typical project is IAB coaching. Instead, I'm going to back. I can take this openly because it's becoming the public, public domain, public knowledge. It's being declared by EPU and so on. So, I was given this uh, pilot projects by EPU in, in uh, 2000 early, right? So went to the, the KP, DG of EPU, and briefing about value management to her. I think she was quite impressed. So if you are claiming uh, that so and so and so, I give you a pilot project. I challenge you to 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 I would say uh, a uh, uh, to conquer to what I mentioned to us. So we gave her the pilot project. The BQ has been uh, almost completed, very advanced stage of design. But I didn't at the time because there was a, the, the, the link of the project that is uh, uh, justifiable to do the pilot project. So I went to, to Sarawak, to Sarawak, uh, went to the site, such a beautiful area with the um, natural lake, about 10 acres of low natural lake, beautiful area. So then I have this minority to capitalize the strength of the site, right? We became uh, uh, we became a uh, kind of value perspective, you know, not just pure cost perspective. I say address this uh, later on. So then uh, the project was then 200 million. Do I to take budget the cost, right? So uh, according to them, it's rather difficult for us to further optimize because we have gone through various process of checking and evaluation by conduct layers and engineers and architects and I mean internal the government officers and so on. So um, the project was designed by, by local chair, the Sarawakians. And I went to Kedah and Genting Highland. I am within Baki, you know? and, and came to a conclusion that the main function, purpose of the IAB are to actually enhance the quality of school leaders meaning the quality of headmasters and deputy headmasters. The philosophy of design was then based on the enhancing the skills of school leaders. Now there's the, the difference, the, the clash of philosophy of design. Okay, the skill of school leaders versus the quality of school leaders. It's very fundamental, system thinking, very important. For conscious players that would venture into value management is very paramount. System thinking and the understanding of the process and the real intent purpose of the exit of the buildings. Not just be able to come in a facilitation, no. Uh, have, okay, good facilitation is fine, but deep understanding of real intent is very, this pre study is very important. So, lepas tu kita kata, oh, macam tu, there's a clash of, of, of philosophy now. So, in the end, quality supersedes. What does it mean? SOA, reflected by SOA, because a lot of computer rules are designed for. Because they give up psychomoto, cognitive, effective, kind of uh, the, the Bloom's uh, taxonomy, classify teaching into uh, teaching and learning into psychomoto, cognitive, effective. Now the motto is cognitive and effective rather than psychomoto. Uh, different both came together. So then we capitalize the, the natural lake, having um, uh, canoeing and so on, the artificial climbing rocks. Because why quality leaderships? That's different both together against kids. Psychomoto. And so in the end. The cost came down to 237 to 161. 76 billion down. down. I used to be called at the pew, 76 billion dollar man. <laughs> yeah, many, many, for, the, for, for a few months. And then um, and the project was tremendously reduced by 32%, and the quality definitely stood up. See, because what? Now we pre the designs based on the real premise of quality of school leaders. Right? And of course, the function. Uh, expanded growth approach. I got two, one, two projects. Why I disputed the statement that value management is about cut, cost cutting, just merely reducing cost. One project we did for Kapong condominiums. So the project was stalled for many, many months. For many months, they wouldn't achieve the desired ROI. We came on board. I suggested to, to, to them to have, add up 
another another floor to get the four switch, switch not pan the switch, right? We check the, the banker, we check the marketing specialist, they charge people to have switch there. The cost of condominium went up by two million. See? But the value GDV, the GC went up by two million, but GDV went up by five million. And all right should up from 14 to about almost 20 percent, right? Based on the calculations. It's just a small about 40 million kind of uh, condominiums. And the, con the, the project was committed the following month, then out. Right? We managed to get the design all right. Another project was in the, in the PG for uh, big, big um, uh, organizations. Um, the project was supposed to be uh, about 1.75 acres or so of land, two towers. One is, uh, one is risk farm, another one is office blocks. At the cost of 120 million. I remember we came, we came up on board in the first meeting with the architects and so on. There were the cynical phases from the from design team. So this guy came in to chop, chop and chop and chop. So uh, after several meetings, I just suggested to the to the, to the general manager of the chairman of the, of the meeting, why don't we we go globe, go outside the box? You know, I said the conventional thinking. We joint venture with the neighboring lot, then order next door which is 25 acres, big areas, even triple, uh, uh, more than double of the, their, their, own, their own lot. They all decided to, to merge, see? So the project was instead of 120 million, went up to how much? Two billion. They have common car parks, like Sungawa Mujib Bintang, you know, common car parks, a different buildings block. So from, from the seven, seven acres or so of development, 6.5, 6.75 or so of development, you can do wonders in PG condominiums and hotels and all sorts of things. So declared, and you start in the news, 2 billion. GD was then 3 billion. See? The architects, I remember, during the subsequent meetings, stop shop was kissing my hand. Why? From 130 billion, went up to 2 billion. Because they maintained the same architects. And the same design team was being maintained. Were maintained. See? So in other words, value management, it's not just going, no, it's not about how you manage, no. It's about getting better results for better value and how we optimize the cost. Why you have 15% for piling against the burning cost? Something is not right with the design, something is not right with the, with the costing, or some, some the, the soil investigations is uh, either wrongly done, or there's real limestone underneath. So we have to have parameters. It's about optimizations. So, anyone is expert of the period of experience now. Next, please. As such, value can be approved in so, in so many ways. Uh, VM promo system thinking I mentioned earlier on. VM customers, service customer needs. Um, VM encourage staff development. Uh, VM uh, change proposal is something that's already we have to pick up this one. Um, I've been mooting this idea, mooted the ISO for many, many years. Presented papers to many organizations and even national seminars. It's again something that we have to all go to, among conscious layers, we have to pick up this one. We've got to champion this. Because I believe that contractors are in many positions having better know how, right, with regard to constructability, the availability of the buildings, and construction of, of, of projects. Not just construction products, even products. So, what we did is, even you go to the fitting form contract, to Zuzu to version, when we were back in 1999. They have the value engineering clause, VE clause in the video of contract. If the government or whoever like to take up this loan from ADB, IDB, Sunland Bank or World Bank, we are required to adopt video for contract. That's a must. Not JKR or not JCT, not CIDB, no no pen for contract. Fiddy. Then in the video form, they have dedicated value engineering clause. Subsequent to value engineering clause, there's an incentive clause. That allows the contractor, the successful bidder for the project, to counter propose and share the savings. It's, it's, it's practice elsewhere in the world. So, so it's something that you've got to look into. That. I suggested this to Jekar. I'm going to present a paper by November, called by Jekar on VM, dedicated for VMCP. So, share your savings and you can make some, some contribution, services rendered by contractors in this field and on VMCP. And partnering uh, is part, in the partner chapter, so it can, can also be considered as part of value management. VM is very good for change, very reckless. Very, uh, what God is uh, uh, rigorous and also, uh, um, um, and sometimes results that are beyond expectations. Next, please. Other benefits, it takes another two hours to finish this. <laughs> but I just go between five minutes, no problem, don't worry. I, I will take out your lunch. 
Um, so you may have high property problems. High exhibition risk cost goals. You think about risk cost goals? No, it's cost cutting. Because what? We do compromise on functional performance. Remember? Function equality is not being compromised. Rather than Leon, I mentioned, cut two blocks and you have difficulties in, 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 in um, uh, what do you call this, uh, recording your stuff. Um, undefined and defined state always needs objective understanding. The very, very fundamental of the value management is understanding what is the real crux, what is the intended purpose of the existence of the project's product, and so on. Right. Optimizers is unique, component cost. Again, I just mentioned about the pilot just now. Increase marketing potentials. The moment you have improved RI, I remember we did a project, save 30 million. So you have a, a age, competitive age against your competitors because you have 30 million buffer in your pocket. Uh, um, improved communication, obviously, yes. Uh, improved quality, reduce time, reduce commercial risk, help to increase cooperation between departments. We have done this. In many cases, departments within the big organization wouldn't talk to each other. Or to get the misunderstanding of certain, certain, certain assumptions. Fresh thinking, spread cost consciousness, develop hidden abilities, right? Help to provide better position on other man's job. Am I still waiting the time? Okay. Uh, undefined energy costs, uh, which then can be removed. I was very fortunate. Supposed to be one and a half, only one hour. <laughs> Next. Next, please. Going to a plan. Value measurement can be applied at a pre brief level, a concept level. System thinking. Even zero drawings. Zero drawings. I remember when, when Datu uh, engaged me as, as DM consultant for KLI2, the PMC. Um, were not being engaged at the time. The archi neither the architects and the rest of the something. I remember I went around, around the, the site with him, what to do with the, the pipe, what to do with the, the, the healing and so on, or the earthwork and so on. So we, we had a very good time together. And then, um, again, we were appointed on board first, doing the value planning, see? And subsequently appointed the PMC and so on. Uh, I mentioned this to, to many of our colleagues, uh, International and local, local and international, they were very, very pleased with the arrangement. We even have our value engineer for the project, right? So, uh, at spaces level, and equal to SOA, set of commission in certain areas, you have the spaces, look into spaces, and look into mismatches against spaces against design needs for the particular space. Elemental level, then you could into the beams and columns and so on. And components within the, the, the lighting system, all we looked into detail. And VMCP here is something that is um, maybe another session we can address this on VMCP. Next. This is very much a conventional approach. The clients, very sequential. This is something that is really time consuming. The clients, project managers, architects, quantity layers, do the costing, project burst. And then when they give to the architects to do the, the fine tuning of the drawings or layout. When they give to the quantity layers, come up with the RI, project visibility. Again, the project burst, the budget burst. When again. So it's basically time consuming. Very time consuming. It's like ages. Uh, and engineers, but then to see it's not feasible to do the dry metal construction. Uh, um, sorry, wet metal construction, as people say call it. You go to the, probably perhaps the steel construction methods. Oh, and go back again. So it's basically time consuming. In very, big value is very rigorous. It is, we call it uh, cross functional team. We have uh, BM specialists, and operation maintenance is strongly advised to be in the day one of the design. By the time your project is converted and over to the FMT and operation maintenance, there you go, there's no not, not sufficient plug points. See? Okay? load is not sufficient. The, a lot of things, being the people's movement is, 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 is not being uh, optimized. Uh, the position of chiller rooms is not uh, is being uh, optimized and so on. So why? Right? O&M people came on board upon the completion of the buildings or projects. I remember when he con con conducted for the high highways of on Logic Camera Highland in the old days, in the late 90s, I insisted JKR, PWD, uh, Jalan, you have to get engineers maintain the road elsewhere in the country. You may have to get 3% maintain the east-west highway, right, from Jili, Greek. According to those engineers, they spend more than the initial capital cost to maintain the road. If we, we captured these requirements in the design stage, we wouldn't be facing so much cost in the maintenance, having the bias and so on. See? So in other words, the input from operation maintenance is very crucial for better understanding and better design, uh, uh, what we call it, particular, particular projects. We have obviously the engineers, 
civil structure, mechanical, electrical, so on. All the engineering team there, client, owner. Client, owner could be different. But some client could be different because sometimes it could be a client could be BWT because we are we are submitting to the, the SO, right? But in the end, the owner is Kumtek Kesehatan or the, the higher Mohi and so on. Architects and conduits and users. Uh, these are something that is very, very uh, important to look and understanding for the, 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 the uh, speed up, to speed up the design development. Next, please. When to apply? Preferably to apply it at the concept level because saving is tremendous here. As you go on, design development stage, the cost of change is higher. We did for one IPTA, the piling was being <coughs> under uh, and the constructions. Uh, uh, again, we were assigned uh, to, to, to design. There were major flow between architecture, the drawings, and also such drawings. The project was already in a, under construction, but put, put, put on hold for a month, reviewed the drawings, and uh, again uh, decided to proceed with, with the project. But it's quite costly because they lead to very, uh, uh, perhaps loss and expense claims by the contractors and also perhaps the uh, about the fees by consultants. Next. The five step is the pre-study, very crucial. The success of the study here, information to the recommendation, all depends on the pre-study. The knowledge of the facilitation and specialists, um, the stakeholders and, and the, the participants, a lot really depends on how extensive the pre-studies will be captured and analyzed. In my case, in our cases, we spend a lot of time for pre-study. Maybe three times more or four times more than the, maybe a workshop of three days. We had to spend about at least a week or two two weeks for this trust study. I come up with my own business model, the fun, function analysis, systems technique diagram, uh, uh, tested it first and before we assess, conduct the workshops. Um, we look into the, um, um, uh, the parameters, all being established in the pre study. This is very crucial for the real understanding of this thing. And the five of the job plan, the information and creativity, job evaluation, development, and combination, um, uh, as shown, recommended in the book above, the silicon error is that once a cascade system is used, with each phase flowing on from, it's not from from, and using the output present phase, there is frequently revision to the previous phase as a result of some discovery. Let's say, say we are at the evolution phase. Of course, I wouldn't um, be, have, have time to explain all the technicalities and, and, and the, 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 the techniques within all this, this basic concept understanding of the awareness of value management. We have what is being at the research stage, we got information, we have to revert back to them, to the creativity phase. And combination and post study here is all crucial, um, um, ensuring that the ideas generated is supposed to be implemented, okay, uh, uh, during the post study, recommend report and so on. So, but more importantly is the, 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 the post study uh, uh, is very, very, uh, must, must be comprehensively done. Next. These are uh, uh, success stories. This is the one that I mentioned, Dato uh, Niyatu. I got a letter from Dato. Uh, 4.8 billion down to 2, 2 billion. Uh, uh, and then uh, efficiently proof. Uh, uh, IAP, what I mentioned just now. It is mapping for also uh, Subang Airport. Uh, this one I mentioned earlier on. Uh, Raya Fly Lodging. Um, and before I conduct the study, I insisted three things to, 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 be, to be accounted for. So investigation. Maintenance and um, uh, what they call this uh, the soil, the geo, 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 uh, geo and environmental. Uh, and we have a uh, lot of improvements uh, managing and also capitalizing the logging tracks for, for the lodging camera highlight. Uh, Super polar lodging in Gomusan. Next. VMCP uh, uh, product, this is a uh, undertaking. It's not been pleased by many, of course. Eh, this Nanti dah, kita punya fee dah banyak turun. That's not so actually. Because this project was top of one year. Uh, for number five, the project was top of one year. Because why the state of Pera had no budget for that. See, I, 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 asked, I went to architect's office, I went to conduit's office, I went to CNS and office. Right? Before I group together. I asked them, every single party of the design team, I asked them very, 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 very frank. We like to project being stored and get no fees, or maybe meet the budget and get paid. They all agree. Oh, of course, we need the project to be to be paid, to be paid, no? to be uh, to be to be uh, moved on. So we conduct. This is quite um, very detailed to very detailed SOAs for the project. I think one of the one of the um, details that we did for so far for 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 this project. We have conducted a two-month study 
did a lot of analysis because there's no way a project being 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 embarked because the state cost only about 60 million maximum maximum can so project was stopped. So we came on board, um, asked already for corporations, they all very, they all are willing to cooperate, and then uh, look into all details. The project came down from 127 20 million to 50 million. And the project completed in 2060 million. See? They all got paid. Even a body fee. So because they've done up to the 130 million stage. So I strongly recommend that the state government. So why is there one or two million a body fee as compared to the 70 million savings? Right? So about six, seven million savings. So why is there two million? So I do, I strongly recommend them you pay them out because they have done the job this far at that at that stage. So they all agreed and they, they, they shake hand. Uh, clinic is done, uh, this one. Uh, it's very important for us understanding. Sometimes consultants are very honest but wrong belief, right? They look into the, the old requirements and come up with the wrong results, wrong design. Education faculty, as I mentioned earlier on, the space planning that we did. Uh, USM Penang is something that about communication among the departments. Uh, the pembangunan USM called me up. We have this budget of 12 million. The design, the PDA number, PDA preliminary tips that we're going to say estimate uh, about 20 odd million. So we came on board and start talking to each other and complete the project completed at 12 million without compromise on function performance. Uh, high department, um, uh, and this is ROI, tremendous improve from 14 to uh, 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 4.5% to 9.25%. The profit of 2.2 to 9.3 million. So in other words, we look into totality, not just a pure cost perspective. And next, please. Uh, there is something that Leon explained, maybe next. I have to give privilege also to Pua Sharifah uh, for the next, next, next uh, paper. Uh, okay, this is an example, I, I think this is detailed already. It's about sharing of savings. Okay, next one, please. Uh, this is something that is, you can look at uh, from the slides, I suppose. Next. This is the way forward. Because this is the, the, going to be the crux of the... So, Finalization of VM Managed Act and submitted to EPU. If you have uh, drafted the Value Managed Act, submitted uh, to EPU quite some time ago, uh, we are following up all the way uh, uh, to be real to realize this act. Um, uh, even though issue value management has been recognized by EPU and by MOF, uh, but still um, we have to have our own act, like board conservation and so on, conservation act. Uh, next is uh, internalization of value management services. You know, um, uh, we can. Service providers is not just in Malaysia, Indonesia, um, emerging market um, in China, in India. We have uh, friends in China, we have friends in uh, elsewhere in the world. So we can cooperate, of course, Middle East um, and uh, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Philippines. All this can be uh, looked at as a bigger market, not just Malaysia per se. Because um, uh, we've been, been um, make some understanding for the um, Internalization of our uh, uh, services. So the license with uh, VM societies and other professional institutions like ISM, RISM with the IBM, and um, we are going to sign up with some other international bodies. Like we talk, we just talk to Australia, Hong Kong. Um, um, Professor Shen was here about two years ago. I had a very good discussion with Professor Shen. Uh, it's a matter of following through. Um, uh, we are very, very pleased with what we're doing here. And I talked to Mail from UK, I, I talked to Roy Water from Australia, um, and, and this is something that is going to be um, uh, mutually understood and uh, some kind of uh, to see the understanding. And also some other uh, non VM societies, um, IEM, we, we have to understand with IEM also, uh, because we are doing it, this is our forte, uh, we are going to have a collaboration with, of course, the uh, many other institutions. RD is something of a must. For us to have cut, cut, cutting edge, right? Even among the contest layers, R&D is paramount, right? R&D is a continuous process, right? So um, um, either R&D is through the real empirical study and research, also through observation and some own analysis. It's about research, so um, uh, and development. And uh, if I would take another one, research, that one, and commercialization. So you have R&D, but no commercialization is also uh, to do for time. So you have to R&D, and, and in the areas of value management, and that the subject, risk, facilities, all areas areas being, being linked, linked to, I have in my, in my other papers, link, how we link value management to risk, facilities, business process, engineering, all to be linked together. Because value management is, is basically a universal methodology that can be applied to all walks of life, 
in various endeavors. To be here before our session, I want to um, have another way forward for mass conscious various, especially, especially dedicated conscious various. We traditionally are cost consciousness, doing cost perspective. Cost, cost, cost. That's why in many cases we are becoming that back, um, back room boys, you know, that, that's, that's, that's kind of thing. That's, this is common terminology by among conscious various. Jack of all trades must have none. So um, anyway, uh, I wouldn't be happy all along during my, my practice life and my academic days why we are being, always being blamed for the delays in documentation, for change orders, for late delivery of many, many cases. I'm not being very, very happy with all this phenomena. We have to change this. So my thought was we have to progress from just merely cost perspective. So I, I went into finance, right? This is my personal experience, right? the sharing of the knowledge that we had. So I used to serve Bank Nagara for 15 years as advisor and consultant to them for, for developing the financial model. So we come in the front runner, right? even, even we lead the accountants and so on. We lead other disciplines. So because in finance, finance uh, is very important because um, it's also the way for for this way on top of value managers. Um, you're talking about not just looking at the embodiment of cost. Cost is one, it's of course a component, it's still 